So, unsurprisingly, Wolves' game against Reading has been postponed today due to the adverse weather conditions. Despite the hard work of the ground staff overnight and this morning, the weather is just not clearing and it's probably the right decision. And now we've got to find something else to do on Saturdays, which is quite annoying and frustrating. But there's been some good news or some exciting news about the future of the club this morning from Tim Spears on the Express and Star. And he's revealed that there are plans to keep the South Bank as a one-tier stand, yet redevelop the ground, which is really, really exciting. And it proves that Laurie Dalrymple, again, has listened to the fans. Because when I made a video a couple of weeks ago about maybe moving away from Molyneux or maybe or redeveloping the ground, the key thing that came out from the comments from you lot was that the South Bank needed to remain a one-tier stand. We've seen the change in the atmosphere in the North Bank. And since it's been made into two tiers, it's been really dead until the last couple of games where it has started to liven up a bit but generally it's been such a quiet and atmosphere and that's due to the splitting of the of the stand and the corporate stuff in the middle of it as well so one of the stumbling blocks for the wolves at the moment is the car park behind the south bank which is currently owned by carillion uh, and there's a bit of negotiations going on about trying to buy that land so that we can move back into that space there behind the ground Spears also goes on to say that the priority is investing in the team at the moment and that this work will only go ahead if we'll stay in the Premier League. Now that doesn't suggest whether it'll just be one season and then we'll go ahead the second season in the Premier League or maybe it'll be a case of two or three years in the Premier League before we go ahead and develop the South Bank. Now the difference in this development compared to Steve Morgan's is that Dalrymple has listened to the fans. There, from my memory, there was very little communication between Steve Morgan and the fans before uh, the, the plans were revealed or before any work went ahead. I could be wrong in that, but from my memory, it was very much, this is the plans and we're going ahead with it. So the extra 5,000 seats in the South Bank would take the capacity up to around about 36,000, which probably in a couple of years, I could I could see us selling that out as well. But I'm really, really happy that it's going to stay as a one-tier stand as well. I think the, St the Steve Bull stand needs redeveloping as well. It's the oldest stand in the ground. Um, but of course, with the size of that stand, it would take a long time to get that redeveloped. Let me know in the comments down below what you think about the news today about the South Bank. I'm personally really pleased and I just hope that I think what needs to happen is the average age in the South Bank needs to slightly go up. I think that little corner by the away fans is, from what I've heard, is very, very young. I think we need to just boost the, the average age in the South Bank a little bit. And of course, Ruben Neves now is out of the Leeds game, not the Aston Villa game, like I said um, earlier in the week, which hopefully that game goes ahead now. I think the weather forecast for Leeds is for rain and stuff over the beginning part of next week. So hopefully that game will go ahead as planned. And then move on to the Villa game. So there's an extra little bit of rest for the players, which is good. Um, and hopefully they can get working and keep them, keep fresh, ready for the games on Wednesday and Saturday evening now. Two big games. The Reading game, of course, will be rearranged. I expect it will be in between the Villa and the Burton game then that midweek. Um, whether it will still be on television or not, I don't know. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And stay safe in the cold and the snow. Bye-bye. Please, everyone, remain indoors.